here's something you don't see at least I haven't ever um, this is gonna get a heat sink it doesn't have it yet this is the board I ordered they just came in and um, I've got it on the variable because I want to see what would happen if I had an engine up here running steam and I'm running at low speed but I need 9 volts to make heat and I turn it on and I forgot I'm pr running at 10 volts but I'm at 30 miles an hour where before I was getting about 5 or 6 volts 9 volts now I don't want to get too hot because the system can't handle the heat so what happens when I go up to 15 volts at 120 it's not hot yet 9 volts I take it down to 30 miles an hour I take it down to 6 volts it, I'm on 6 volts right now 9 I'm at 15, 9. Okay. Now, what I want to do is hook up my smoke, which I just finished making some updates to it. Um, and I've got two assemblies, one for the diesel and one for the a steam engine I want to do. And test this out and with various heat, um, heat coils to see which one's going to work the best. And, um, and see if this thing does everything it says it, it will do. And if it does, I, I will put this in the next system with the smoke. They sent, I ordered two versions that came at the same time. The only thing I could tell you is this is a red PC board, <laughs> uh, but no heat sink. And the other one is a green PC board, and it came with a heat sink that I have to stick on that chip. So, pretty exciting for me. I've been waiting for a week for this to get here. So I've got a, a it's called a buck boost. So it'll boost up to what you set it to and it'll buck down to what you set it to. So it will maintain that voltage high or low regardless and it works. Nine volts straight so I'm gonna put nine volts straight see how we do with the smoke tune the heaters get everything going and then I can use the other variable um, the lower cost unit for um, the fan because the fan can change I'd like it to be slower at lower speed that's okay and then I think we will be ready to put this in the engine and put the engine together and and put and be done with smoke and then I can put the sound in blah 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 I'm so excited right now I'm on a mad project to get this baby done um, a gentleman has asked to buy it and I've agreed to sell it so I'm putting on the last of the all-wheel drive my last part just finished printing way over there it's printed out waiting for me to take it off and I can finish his all-wheel pickup and wire this thing up and assemble it, test it, and uh, verify we're getting power at all wheels. We have eight pickups here, eight pickups there. Um, it, should, it should just be rock solid. I know this combination works real well. I've used it before. It's in my uh, E9 for Illinois Central. It's a beautiful chassis. A lot of work, a lot of grinding in here to narrow it at the piece and all. A lot of work uh, to get that into the uh, flyer body, but the end result I think is just marvelous. I can't wait to get this fired up. Uh, he didn't want smoke, that's fine. I'll put it on mine. I've still got my single drive. I may go back to magnets on the fields too. Okay. I gotta go later.